afraid I will now draw from my hat the names of our lucky queen and king. Oh, how I wish that we could be king and queen, Loli. Our queen is Hilda Hippo. Oh! And our king is Huckle Cat. Me? But I don't want to be. Congratulations, Huckle and Hilda. Busy Town is proud to have you as our new royal representatives for our annual parade. And Mr. Fix-It will build the lead float. Yay! I'll be fixing up something extra special this year. Yay! It will be fun, Huckle. Just think of the romantic costumes we'll wear. I just want to watch the parade, not be in it. It'll be a cinch. And even if I can't ride with the king of my heart, Huckle will make a fine king for a day. I think we should check out what kind of float Mr. Fixit has planned for you two. How clever of you, Loli. That way he can match our costumes to his romantic float. How divine! Come to find out what the float will look like. Voila! Voila what? Voila, my fantastic spaceship. Isn't it great? But a spaceship isn't what I had in mind. Couldn't you make something that's more romantic? Romantic? You know, something fit for a, a queen and a king, like in the old days. You don't like my idea? Well, it's just that it's not what I expected. That's because it's not finished yet. But when it is, you'll see. You'll love it. I'm sure this will be great. We can make some really neat spacesuits to go along with the float. I guess we'll have to make do. I think it's neat. Go! Hold still. Just one more. There. This isn't a space suit, it's a squash suit. I can't move. I can't even stand up. I'll get in my costume now. Do I really have to do this? Are you ready for blast off, Hilda? Sort of. look like the Queen of Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wear this. <laughs> oh, this isn't anything like I hoped. Huckle, you'll just have to be a king without a queen. I quit. But Hilda, you can't just quit. I think we better call the whole thing off. I think we better go speak with Mr. Fix-It. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Fix-It! Oh, no! Your spaceship! Oh, no is right, Huckle. This just isn't working. I've got to think about this some more. Well, since Mr. Fix-It and Hilda are out, we'll just have to tell Mayor Fox to forget the king and the queen and the folk this year. But we can't let everyone down, Huckle. We've got to get Hilda and figure out something, and fast! Mr. Fix-It, we were wondering if maybe you would rethink your idea for the float so that you and Hilda will both be happy. I like my idea. Now, if you'll excuse me... But Busy Town is expecting a beautiful float and a king and queen. You both can't let them down. Well, I'll ride on the float, but I want it to be romantic. And I'll build the float, but I want it to be futuristic. Forget it, Loli. <laughs> it's no use. Wait! How about if we do both? Both? Everything is ready, and we made a great float. I can't wait for you to see it, Mother and Father Cat. That's wonderful. But you don't look very excited, Huckle. Are you feeling okay, Huckle? No, uh, I'm hot and my <coughs> throat hurts, Mom. Oh, dear. 
You've got quite a fever. I'm afraid you may not be able to be in the parade tomorrow, Huckle. If I can't, Lonely, you'll have to be Hilda's Prince Charming after all. Me? What's taking so long? Where's our king? Where's our queen? Where's our float? What's taking Huckle so long? We're going to be late. Huckle's sick, so I'm going to be your king for the day. What good news! I mean, gee, I'm sorry, Huckle's sick. Here's your costume, Hilda. And for you, Lonely, I have just the thing. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll be along any minute, Mr. Mayor. <gasps> To the king and queen of Busy Town. Why, this float and your costumes are fantastic. However, did you do it? By finding a solution to make everyone happy. Very, very happy. <laughs> very, very happy.